Good day. Listen, I'm working. I got me working. Y'all, y'all people got me. Y'all got me working, man. Today we're gonna put in some work. Today, listen. I had an idea because nobody in the media talks about this. I come up with these bright ideas myself. I guess I gotta get it out to y'all guys as fast as I can. Listen. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share this video. Come to this video. Listen. Y'all do notice. Kobe Bryant is not a player hater. Kobe Bryant is not a player hater. Kobe Bryant, the late great Kobe Bryant, helped King James, LaChana James, whatever y'all want to, LaShannon Le Le James, LeBron James, fake King, King James, win his, you know the championship we talk about, what made him the greatest player ever, when they beat a 73 and 9 win team that they should have been down 3 1 again, because I think LeBron, Kyrie, kept a little better than them. Kobe Bryant helped them win the championship. Kobe Bryant had a dinner with Kyrie, gave him advice. Told him what he need to do and how he need to win. Kyrie talks about it on his show. Talk, Kyrie talks about it all day long. How Kobe kept him win that championship. Yeah, I do know Kobe. Kyrie averaged 27 points in that game. And after the after the finals, guess who Facetime Kobe? Right after they won the championship, he didn't. He, I probably about the hook LeBron did that. They him up, but face goggle champagne in the room. He Facetime Kobe being Bron. But Kobe was like, Kobe said he was in bed or some shit, like laying down with his kids or something. Facetime say, bro, your shit work. It worked. Your face worked, bro. I we did it, we did it all because of you, just because of you. I listened to you and it worked. Hmm. That sounds like Kobe Brown was very, very, very confident in himself and what he's saying of Pat the Young Greats and how LeBron James ain't never gonna be better than me, no matter how many he win, no matter who he went with. I'm still better than me because my game is so much better than his. It's not even close. I'm gonna help a guy on your team because I love him so much. I, I'm gonna help nurture his game and show, show him guidance. Something that you couldn't do, and I'm gonna help y'all help you win the championship. And guess who got final MVP? LeBron James. So he helped LeBron James get a final MVP, come back down 3 1 and win a championship. That that, that solely championship that LeBron James, it got Kobe name written all over it. Kobe Bryant helped hit kept him win the championship. Nobody in me to talk about that. That that that's not brought up enough. That's that's not brought up enough. It it doesn't get the uh clarity and the glorification that it does. It it does it. And y'all LeBron's ain't gonna feel like, bro, what they gotta do with the thing? What you mean what they gotta do with the thing? They gotta do everything. Guidance, support, help. Kobe helped and gave him correct advice to how he should approach the championship, how he should go about it. And he outplayed the unanimous MVP in that series, Stephen Curry. I'm trying to get you straight. How, hey, tell me y'all, how was Golden State better than uh just tell me this? How was Golden State better than the uh Cleveland Cavaliers? You had LeBron, you had Kyrie, LeBron, Kyrie. Kevin Love versus Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. Draymond Green and Klay Thompson cannot create offense for themselves. They cannot put the ball on the floor. They are not offensive dribbling players. Klay Thompson is a great shooter. He run off screens. He put the dribble, put dribble, he dribble one. He has 60 plus some points off of a few dribbles. So we know he can't dribble the basketball. LeBron and Kyrie are two of the best ball, well, not two of the best ball handlers. They can create shots. Kyrie is the best ball handler we have ever seen. LeBron James can control, create offense. Uses right. Steph Curry is the only person on that team that can handle the ball and create an offense. So, so in y'all perfect brain, y'all perfect world, how, how is, how was that that ten three nine Golden State Warriors team better? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Andre Iguodala said when they was down three one against the OKC Thunder, he won a breakfast club. Said the breakfast club and said actually the best team that was in the uh, we placed was the uh, OKC Thunders with, Kyrie, with uh, KD and and uh, and West, West, West Westbrook. So. And then you got to then, then look at this look at this standpoint too. Cavaliers was better defensively. Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith, Amon Shepard, they had defensive players on that team too. So, and then you got Golden State got limited when they got Andrew Bogut got hurt on their front line, right? And Kevin and Steph Curry went full empty, man. If you're a basketball fan, you know basketball. When you got when 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 Steph Curry couldn't get a shot off against Kevin Love, he on the perimeter and Kevin Love standing in front of him, you know it was a problem. Right, so I don't want to hear. People keep telling me, and, and even some good basketball knowledge. People keep saying, "Now nah, that Golden State team was better." Like how? Like how? The Cavaliers had better offensive firepower. They had a better defensive team. They had, it was a better overall team. Like how they they had they, they, like how? It's never a team that got one. LeBron James and Kyrie Irving is two of the best offensive players we have ever seen. LeBron James and Kyrie, Steph Curry is one of the best offensive players we ever seen. That's it. Klay Thompson one of the better shooters. Jeremy Green one of the better defensive players. They do not stack offensively against the Golden State Warriors, including Kevin Love, who averaged oh what? Kevin Love was a, 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 a great. Kevin Love is a better scorer than Draymond Green. Better scorer, better playmaker than. I don't know if he's a better playmaker. I think Jeremy maybe a better playmaker, but 
He's on a better play because he got he played with two of the greatest shooters up. Clay Thompson is offensively better than him. Like I'm sick or tired of that narrative. I'm sick or tired of that narrative. That's a dumbass narrative. Anyway, Kobe is so confident in his own game and himself that he didn't mind giving advice and help helping another guy win championships. Helping others win championships, even though Le it, it was going to benefit LeBron James the most. I thought that we, we point that out on this channel and, and give and, 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 and uh try to compare, try to compare, try to compare the two, not not try to, and try to compare the two teams in that finals. Cause the, that's cause they won 73 games. Don't mean they were the best team ever. They had the best regular season record ever. You can look at the Atlanta Hawks had the one of the best regular season record. Won 60 games with four All Stars who not gonna make the Hall of Fame. The Cuban Cavaliers that y'all say LeBron had no help with. Won 66 games, then 62 the following year. They had some of the best regular season ever. But they, what, what, you, what you said, one of the best teams ever? Winning 66 games in the regular season that LeBron James led by, Le, by LeBron and Mo Williams, who averaged 18 points. LeBron averaged, what, over 27? Was the lead MVP. That team won 66 games, didn't make it to the 66 and 16, didn't make it to the uh, even the Eastern Conference Final. That team. Is that one of the best teams ever? Or y'all say, nah, he was, he was playing with a bunch of script. Which one is? They had one. Of, they had the best regular season that year and one of the best regular season records of all time. But somehow, y'all don't talk about that being the best team ever. But why y'all look at Golden State? It doesn't make any sense. That Warrior team was buff. That Warrior team wasn't. It just stuck. It was on a historic pace and they had great team chemistry. That's all they were. LeBron James and Kyrie was better. And when they got KD, it KD when they got KD, it was equal. Kate and the, and the Warriors were a little better. They was equal. LeBron, all LeBron had to do was stop Kevin Durant from averaging 30 on 50% from the field, trying to score all the points, average 25, let Kyrie and Kevin Love take on the offensive load and play defense. Defense win championship. LeBron James averaging 25, 26, 27, instead of trying to average over 30. You can't outscore Golden State. I've been saying that for years. So tell me what y'all think about this video. Drop comments below. Like, subscribe, share this video. I'm out.